I read the case records. If I recall correctly, was that the Midnight Channel that was being broadcast in Inaba? I was on it too, but it wasn't like that last time. All of us in the helicopter are utterly confused. Who would broadcast something like that, and why? The P1 got climax? It's obviously a continuation of the fighting tournament. Suddenly, the monitor switches to another feed. General Teddy? But, but I thought I already... General Teddy in the recent Grand Prix, the one calling itself General Teddy, turned out to be my own shadow. But I accepted my shadow and gained the power to use a persona. But if he's on the screen again, then General Teddy ignores my thing, confusion and continues. <laughs> There's no way I'd go away so easily. I mean, a P1 without me is like a tuna sandwich without the tuna. He can hear us? Isn't he that weird persona user named Teddy? No, he must be the General Teddy who hosted the fighting tournament last time. The record said he'd been eliminated, though. General Teddy, where did you take Mitsuru-san and the others? If you don't give us a good answer, you're gonna pay! <laughs> it's past your bedtime, Cubby. If you're gonna keep giving me lip, I'm not going to explain anything. Explain? That's right. I mean, the three of you are very important guest stars in the P1 Climax, after all. So you'll participate, of course. Right? What? What are you after? <laughs> if you value the lives of the hostages, you yapping pup, you don't have any choice but to participate. Huh? <laughs> the P1 Climax! It's the end of the world! One on one deathmatch that's worthy of the name Climax! And best of all, if you don't win the one on one tournament to the finish within the hour, the world will end! No punches pulled this time! I'll make myself clear so that no one misunderstands. This will not be taking place within the TV world. It will, in fact, take place in the reality which you occupy. Enjoy it while you can. Alrighty then, time to show off how that special stage is going. The video feed switches to something else. Oh, what? Something else? Oh, okay, yeah, I remember this scene. Huh. I... I didn't... It just seems really odd that these are the guys that would get captured, which I, I, I suppose is the whole point of it. But I still, I still quite can't quite accept it, even though I know it happened. Nah. Anyway. Was that Mitsuru Senpai? Sonata son, Ida son, and Fukusan son too. <laughs> what will be the fate of our captured queen and her loyal minions? Oh, and this is a no-fly zone. We don't have any room in the parking lot for that thing, so you better start walking to the battleground. As a little incentive, Persona! Kintoki Doji! Throw him a tomahawk! No, don't do that. Oh. With that, the last command from General Teddy, the monitor, turns off. After a moment of silence, Kikune sends shouts from the cockpit. An alarm? No. There really is a missile coming our way. Evasive maneuvers, brace yourselves. A missile? Ah! As soon as Kikune san shouts, the helicopter makes a sharp turn and we're all thrown to the side. There's a deafening roar and the helicopter shakes madly but recovers. Are we hit? It barely missed. There's a good chance that it will still detonate. It exploded! Wait, it's a firework? Huh. In the moment after the explosion, General Teddy's face was drawn in the night sky with colourful sparks. He even managed to capture his image, taunting us with his tongue sticking out. Uh, he obviously missed on purpose. It was most likely fired from the direction of Inaba. Or something? Wait, what is that? There's something 
in the distance. It's huge! You carry some points towards the shape of a gigantic building stretching towards the sky. Something red is writhing around that bizarre structure, trying to envelop the town below it. It's red fog? I'll zoom in. You know, Santa, just the monitor that had just been displaying General Teddy's laughing face to show us the enormous structure up ahead. I know, sis, Yukari san and Kenkun both tense up when they catch sight of it. No way. This is just like Tartarus. Searching data for Tartarus results. <laughs> results found. A labyrinth that only appears during the dark hour. And a breeding ground for shadows. It's also the place where a powerful being was going to descend upon the world to bring about destruction. The documents in my hand have a page dedicated to it as well. What I read there confounds me. Three years ago, when Mitsuru san and her companions were in high school, something happened there. All I can gather is that they fought desperately in a tower called Tartarus that resembles the one outside. As the red fog grows thicker, the building that Kenku and Yukari san who is referred to as Tartarus begins to spear from our view. I'm sorry to do this, but I have to withdraw before we're shot down. But we've come so far! If they fire another one at us, I won't be able to dodge again. Even if it's only a firework, a direct hit can still bring us down. Hold on, Kikuno-san. Can you drop low enough somewhere so we can get out? There's no way. If we land, we'll be sitting ducks. No, once we're out, you'll get out of here. You don't need to land. What are you saying? Please, do it. Don't worry. Remember, General Teddy asked us to come on foot. We'll manage somehow. Understood. I'm looking for a landing site. There appears to be a large shopping center nearby. While dodging explosions from missile, missiles fly mercilessly towards us, the helicopter nosedives plunging us towards the ground as we move closer to Inaba. Labrasan, please take this. It may be of use. It contains the data that was taken from the Ergonomics Research Laboratory's top secret files. The creator's name is Shuji Ikutsuki. Shuji Ikutsuki? That name was also in the documents that Kikuno Sen had given me. He betrayed Mitsuru san at the last moment three years ago and revealed himself as an enemy. Ever since the death of Koetsu Kurijo, the patriarch of the Kurijo family two generations ago, this man took the lead in all of the dangerous events related to shadows. That is how dangerous this man is. But the documents also say that Ikutsuki took his own life. The file name was Project Puppet Master. I'm not entirely sure if that's a code or a description of the project. Puppet Master? Could that be something to do with me and I guess? I was only able to decrypt a portion of it, but it seems to be data on an experiment involving a plume of dusk. An experiment with a plume of dusk? So... Why are you giving this to me? It may assist you in determining the enemy's identity. Actually, I found traces of an unauthorized attempt to access this file from outside of the Ergo Research Network. I investigated this and found that the requests made to break in originated from this vicinity, likely from within Inaba itself. Huh? So someone in Inaba knew about that research before all this started and was looking for it? Kikunes are not silently. Of all the files in the quarantine server to go after, if this one was specially targeted, then the hacker must have at least known of its presence there. The cyber attack wasn't done by some ordinary hacker who broke into the server and was looking around out of curiosity, which means that the hacker is probably either the culprit himself or someone connected to them. The firewall prevented the intruder from accessing the file, but the attempted hacker didn't even try to cover their tracks. What? Who would do this? The hacker didn't even attempt to cover their access to the server. Could that mean that they wanted someone to know about the existence of the file, even if they failed to access it? That doesn't make much sense. Putting aside whatever doubts we have, Kukuna san continues on. It was only in fragments, but the name Sho Minazuki appears many times in those files. Who is he? Sho Minazuki. I don't know that name. Could that person be the culprit? At the very least, there's no mistake that this person is deeply related to this case. I'll contact you once we crack the encryption, but in case it becomes difficult to transfer the data to you, I'll give you a copy. 
Then I'll download that data into myself and take a look at the parts that you've managed to decrypt. That would be for the best. Gotcha. Thanks. Kikunis had hands me a memory card. I insert it into the memory slot and save those data on into my internal memory. Chris as Kikunis then says, most of it is experiments, experiment records. One file remains that cannot be read. Project Puppet Master. What's in that file? 